Okay, the home office tax strategy. To qualify for the home office deduction, you must use a specific area of the home exclusively and regularly for one or more of the following purposes. So as a principal place of business, we like to loop this in inside of an accountable plan. It's extremely beneficial when you start talking about S-Corps and an accountable plan. They can meet clients there, patients, customers, and they can conduct some normal business. They can use it for certain storage use as well as daycare. So obviously in the tax return, I tell the client, you can use the traditional way that most CPAs do and they check the little simplified deduction. That'll get you maybe five to eight hundred dollars annually but if we do this strategy correctly we can get you 10 times that on the uh, tax savings we want to make sure that through the deduction process or through the eligibility process the area that they have is used specifically for trade or business and it must be used regularly regularly does not mean weekly or monthly but it's regular and the IRS loves to use some of that subjectivity when it comes to some of their provisions. But I think if we can demonstrate that they are using that area and it's dedicated and they're in it regularly, that's the key portion of that. The meeting minutes can help substantiate some of that, but it can also help as we substantiate that office space or that square footage space. We use a triangulation process to be able to substantiate the home office. And what we do, how many times do you ask your client, what's the square footage of your home? And do they know? They don't know. They think they know, but they don't know. No, never trust them. And so we triangulate the data. We go into Zillow. Zillow is not always accurate. Inside Zillow, there's a link usually that links over to the county recorder's office. So we have, again, our junior tax specialist. It's more of a tax admin. They go in, they go to Zillow, they pull the information off of Zillow, click over to the counter recorder's office, pull that information from the counter recorder's office. We also get the questionnaire from the client through Core V that says what's your square footage. And then the fourth way that we get the information is through the buy-sell agreement or the settlement agreement when they purchase the home. Those four, we believe, would be substantial eligibility or information to say, hey, we've done our due diligence to find out what the square footage of the house is. And you'd be surprised how many different answers you get out of those four. But we do the best to get the correct answer through that process.